Hey, what's up, guys? We're about to uh, set up an Amazon shipment. Um, it took me a while to find a video that actually was helpful in the Amazon dashboard. I don't remember who it was, but the gentleman had a mustache and beard. Very good video. Um, I just wanted to kind of mirror that so it would be a little bit easier for someone who's new starting out uh, for keywords in terms of like shipping books 2019 Amazon via the dashboard. Uh, I know a lot of people use inventory labs. I guess it's an easier interface, but uh, I have no idea anything about that. I don't pay for that. So this is going to be strictly from Amazon uh, dashboard. So let's get after it. All right. So you see all these listings. Well, I'm going to go Amazon. You can go by date. It's a little faster, but uh, I kind of want to make sure that I have all the books in here. So we're going to go inactive uh, Amazon. Here we go. So I'm going to go by the date because I created all these things on this uh on this day here uh, let's refresh real quick maybe that'll work now let's refresh uh, all right yeah it's looking like it's working right now so we're gonna go uh, inactive and we're gonna go Amazon uh, sorry for the backward noise my we just got a puppy my daughter's playing with it so uh, 25 selected there we're based on the dates 26 26 25th let's go down 25th, 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 24th. All right, so then we got here. This is the bottom one. I just sold this book uh, basically at even. I lost a dollar almost. Um, so we're just going to select, select all, and uh, we're going to go this way. Instead of, this is, I'm obviously not going to send that in. So here we go. Boom. We're just making sure that most of these books, you see this? There's two listings here of the same book. So we're going to delete this one. Uh, delete product and listing. Okay, whatever. We've already added it, so you just kind of double check in. We're gonna uncheck that and just double check. We don't have repeats of the books like that one. Um, so now we got forty-eight books selected. Um, I guess that was my internet that loaded weird. I don't know. All right, so now we're gonna go action to select uh, send to replenish inventory. Uh, if 48, yes, a continue. Now it takes you to this page. Um, all right, so it's going to be individual products, obviously. Um, continue the shipping plan. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the, the, the stuff there. All right, so here we go. Uh, number of quantity, we all have one unit of each one. We've already done that. It automatically fills. Scroll down, no problem. Continue. Prep products. This next page is going to show us uh, who is prepping, right? You can have pay Amazon or you can do it yourself. I do it myself because, well, I don't have uh, the money to be messing around with it and uh, I want to keep my margins as high as I possibly can. So I'm going to go merchant. So that's basically it. I scroll down, click continue. So obviously there's no fee. Uh, barcodes. Now we get into the barcode section of this, right? I'm going to do it. Who labels? Apply all. Merchant, 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 merchant. Okay, so now we're going to go print labels for this page. It downloads it. Um... And there's all the SKUs or all the uh, ASINs that are going on there. All right, so let's go, let's go back here. You see the puppy in the back there. Um, all right, so let's go here and let me show you what I'm gonna use for the labels. So I have a full sheet there, pretty much full two full sheets. Um, Avery, uh, right here. I looked all over for videos for this, so hopefully this helps you out, saves you some time here. Uh, one inch by two and uh, five eighths. Right, it's 30 of them for each one. So I'm doing 48 books, um, but I tend to save my old ones. So like you see here, um, I'm just gonna put the page upside down so that it shows, so it prints out this side and right here. Just gonna make sure that it uh, works. Let's see here, bam, bam, bam. And I'm short. So now I got my two sheets here. Um, because I have it set up wirelessly, we're gonna do this. Uh, here pretty soon I'm gonna cut it off and when I get ready to the label part, or the box dimensions and use my other computer that I have my label printer connected to and it's not connected to this one. Um, so we're gonna load it up, Canon product, letter, and print. This, 
So this is the next part of the of, of the video, just like going in and labeling over the barcodes and stuff. So you got to cover the barcodes. And if there's something else in another like barcode, sometimes they have it on opposite sides, like over here and over here. I just use the extra ones to cover that uh, as I go. So I have my labels here. Now we're off of that page and we're going to go continue. And creating shipment plan. Here we go. Review shipments. We have 48 SKUs. I'm going to count my uh, books here in the back. We got a, we got a little problem here. Uh, I got I count 46. And plus this one's 47, so let me count again. I'm counting seven. See, that's why I was going to type them in via IBSN, because sometimes it gets messed up. So now I have to make sure I have all these books. Let me see. I don't know if this is one of them. Yep. Oh, here it is. Last one's right here. So uh, 48 books, 48 SKUs, uh, and let's go. So... Um, got them here approve and continue and they're all gonna go to Moreno Valley which is good uh, I've had sh split shipments in the past if that happens to you and you only have a few books that are going you can go back and remove them from this shipment so if there's two books I can go back and remove them they'd be 46 and they would go to Moreno Valley not uh, like New Jersey and stuff so here we go approve and continue Okay, so now it's good there. Now I can work on shipment. After I get done doing the rest of it, I can uh, box it up. After I clean them up, label them, work on shipment, and then get into uh, dimensions of the box. And uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. Here we go. All right, guys, so I'm recording this uh, just after the fact here. I've already boxed everything up. But um, when I went through everything, I found an extra book that was somehow shifted in there uh, on the Amazon thing. You know, with the date-wise, I don't know exactly why. But um, at the very end, you can go to your work uh, and shipment or adjust quantity or whatever that's inside of your, uh, your shipment that you have, and you can delete it. So that's what I ended up doing, and I ended up sending off uh, 47 books, not 46 and not 48. 47 was my, my number for the books for this shipment. All right, I just wanted to put that out there real quick because you might see something in there that's a little different than what um, we discussed prior to this. Okay, so we're back here. Uh, look, I put in my dimensions. There's all my books that I have. I've weighted it with my scale, 48.7. Put in my dot box dimensions that I, I uh, measured out from my Lowe's medium box. And then you just confirm it. And then it shows you shipping charges here. Um, you just, again, you confirm it and it goes from there. And you just click the acknowledgement and you're basically done. You just gotta print your uh, label and put it on the box. So hopefully this video helped you out and uh, just helped you get through the navigation for your first shipment for Amazon if you're doing books or whatever it is that you're doing uh, fulfilled, by, uh, fulfilled by Amazon FBA um, with the professional account. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Put it out there because it took me forever to find something or a shipment video that somebody was using uh, the Amazon interface device, inventory labs or something like that. So. Um, just click through the steps. It's pretty self-explanatory. And like I said, at the very end of your shipment, if something's wrong with the extra item or you don't have it there or something like that, you can amend it on the shipping page and you can just add, uh, add content or adjust or edit contents and quantity. Um, just make sure you look for that. It's going to be right there under, um, the ship, your shipping address and where the location is going. It's going to be in blue. It'll be right there. You can't miss it, believe me. Um, and I don't think anybody put a video out on that yet. So um, instead of going through the entire order or going back all the way, you can do it at the very end after everything's already set in stone and done and labeled and ready to go. You can just adjust it real quick and just make sure you put your weight and your measurements. And if you're using boxes, go to Lowe's. If you're a veteran, they give you a percentage off like myself. Um, they work out good and you can cut them down to size so that they don't move around so much. And they're pretty cheap. Uh, Check it out, man. Hey, give me a like and subscribe, man. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, great. If it didn't, uh, sorry, man. I'm, I'm still trying to learn how to edit and do everything that I can uh, to build this YouTube video or YouTube channel up. So please uh, give me a comment, a like, uh, some suggestions if I'm doing something slower or something. You know, I'm trying, to, I'm, a, I'm trying to learn myself. You know, I haven't been doing this that long. You guys have been with me with the journey so far.